What's up, YouTube? It's Tuesday, which means the new week in Destiny 2, so smash that like button. Come celebrate AANHPI Heritage Month with Bungie. You donate $10, you get the Harmonic Waves emblem. Not surprised. Protect yourself from pony errors. Okay, blah, blah, blah. The final shape, 25-hour downtime. From June 3rd to the 4th. Starts at 9 a.m. PST, ends at 10 a.m. PST, I'm guessing. Insane. Then we have Limited Edition Brave Weapon Change Doubled. The drop chance for Limited Edition Brave Weapons has been doubled for the final week of Destiny 2 into the Light. This is great. This is going on till before 9 a.m. PT of June 3rd. So stay tuned. Now, more importantly, what's in the bright dust door this week? Oh, we have a cutscene. You died. So did you. Yeah, I don't have to call you Prince anymore, do I? Very interesting. Wow, what an amazing cutscene. I loved it. Now, let's check out the Bright Dust Store this week. We got the Experimental Mishap Emote. Okay. We got the Unseen to be shown weapon ornaments. This is for the Fixed Odds Machine Gun. We have the Resurrected Shadow Transmat Effects. I can imagine all these Transmat Effects being crazy since the final week before Final Shape. But that one was pretty cool. Then we got the Colip... Coliptra? Coliptera Shader. Hopefully I said it right. Looks pretty cool. Looked like a mango. And then we got the Spark of Joy Shader, which I already have. Why? Because it's pink. For our second set of items, we have the Friendly Feet Dance Multiplayer Emotes. I've seen this one before. Then we have the Vanguard Dare Cask Hunter Universal emotes. So I'm guessing if you're a Warlock or Titan, they got something else. Then we got the Astrological Shell. Then we got the Assembly Stinger. The ship. Nice. Then we got the Bright Nostalgia Vehicle. Kind of ugly. Then we got the Immaterial Messenger Weapon Ornament for the Wish Keeper. And the Brain Freeze Ghost Projection. Along with Chaco's Finery Shader. Jacarina Shader. How come there's blue? Where did the blue come from? If it's White, gray, black, and dark gray. That makes no sense. Then we have the meditator shader. And the springtide faint shader. Nice. 
Then we have the Fallen Arrival Transmet Effect. The Up in Smoke Transmet Effect, which I think I'm going to get. And the Chrysalis Transmet Effect. I'm going to get these two. Boom. And boom. Now, let's go see what's in rotation this week for the final week before the final shape. Over at the Cosmo Drone. We got the Grasp of Avarice in rotation this week, a classic. Over at Eternity, we have the Grasp of Avarice again. I don't know why I had to double down on that with our Dares of Eternity. Over at the Legends tab, we have Crota, obviously, in rotation. And King's Fall 2. It's a free-to-play weekend for all the boys. And our legendary exotic mission will be the Vox Obscura. Nice. Over at the EDZ, we have... The newest dungeon, Warlord's Ruin, in rotation as always. And over at Into the Light, we have our Onslaught playlist. And the Pantheon Rotator. Quest progress required, which I have no progress in. And up here we have our three rituals with their corresponding bounties. Very easy to level up. Over at 801 this week, we got the Aaron Knight 1.0 sets. And for our shaders, we have the House of Marin or Myron. Why are you Myron? Then we got the Flowers of IO, which was worn by someone else before you. And the new monarchy regalia. If your favorite color is red, this is your shader. And that seems to wrap it up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace!